I have a two-page uh, speech prepared by the staff. But uh, I shall read it, and after that, uh, I will just add my own statements to reflect my sentiment of the moment. To our troops, I stand in solidarity with you as we honor the memory of your comrades, my soldiers, who gave their lives in the name of peace here in Sulu. The recent bombings that took the lives of several civilians, including those of your fellow soldiers, will only further threaten our resolve to crush the lawless elements behind this cowardly act. For decades, Mindanao's progress has been hindered by the threat of insurgency and extremism. Kung wala lang ho sana itong the seed of hatred na nakalagay sa isip from generation to generation, sana ngayon maganda na ang buhay para sa lahat. This unfortunate incident is only one of the countless incidents that prove that we should never be complacent when it comes to terrorism. Lagi ninyong tandaan na ang kaligtasan ng ating mamamayan at mga komunidad ang inyong prioridad. Right now, our entire nation is dealing with a global health crisis. Yet enemies of the state will still find the energy to perpetrate the acts of violence and terrorism. Now, more than ever, our nation needs our armed forces to ensure that these terrorists will never succeed in their pointless goals. By choosing to fight for your country here in Sulu, you honor the ultimate sacrifice of your fellow soldiers and the countless others who fought before you. I know that the ongoing pandemic has not only made your responsibilities even more complicated and more hardships. Yet in the spirit of selflessness, you remain strong in your mission for the Filipino people. Because of this, I am humbled by your commitment, inspired by your patriotism, and grateful for your economic continued support. Bilang isang Filipino, ibibigay ko sa inyo ang lahat ng suporta na kailangan ninyo para matupad ang inyong misyon dito sa Hulo. I commit myself to work with you, my dear troops, to ensure that these terrorists will have no future in this country. You know, Sakor, it is not the fault of the native Filipinos. We never had any religion before. Well, until uh, the evangelists of religions came over. Wala ko tayong away no. At maniwalat kahit hindi. Itong Bisaya at itong Sog, kung pakinggan mo lang mabuti, magkakaintindihan tayo. What I'm trying to say is that the irony of it all is that the Pulapo was a spin-off of the tribe of the Tongsugs that settled in Cebu. It's the same Lapu-Lapu that I honor and bestowed upon him uh, the prestige of being a national hero. 
It was not until after I was president. You know, in the past, sinasabi lang nila na pulapo, pang papampiritong isda lang yan ilununan. But he was the first Filipino to resist the invader. Siya yung unang nagipagbakbakan. And to think that he was a descendant of the Tausugs who settled earlier in the Visayan Himitra. The other tribe is the Hiligaynon, which are the Hilongos now. And yet I'm giving awards in his name to soldiers of the Republic of the Philippines to which the Filipino people have agreed to form. Yan ang, I was holding the Quran and the Bible kanina, sandali. In both holy books, there is only one God. It's your Allah. It's God the Father for the Christians. Pariho lang. And yet in thy name, because of certain extremists, yung unang pumasok na galit doon sa mga Pilipino sa southern part, which is now Mindanao, at yung mga Moro, yung nagkaisa against the Spaniards. We never had any quarrels. We never took slaves of any tribe. Tayong lahat magkakaibigan, we were just trading. Beat each other. And yet, when the Spaniards came, ang problema nagdala ng religion. Well, of course, also for the Islam, but ang Islam for evangelization lang. The Spaniards conquered what is now the Philippines because he chose to name it after King Philip who sponsored this expedition to this part of the world. Ang binibigay ko ang award in the name of a thousand for my soldiers who have fought the insurgents now. Kung hindi lang sabihin mo na ang pinapag-usapan natin dito ay ang Diyos, nakakatawa eh. Because, you can just imagine, ang medal niyang binibigay ko, lapo-lapo, and he was one, was the first defender of aggression by the Spaniards into this country. Time and again, Panahon pa ni Quirino, Camlon, and I could remember still my father, who was a member of the cabinet of Mr. Marcos. I, I, I heard him tell stories about why he cannot, because he can understand. Magtagal dito sa ano. He could not speak it fluently, but he could understand Visayan. And it was my father who told me, you just listen carefully. The Tauso dialect is similar to the Visayan language. So yan ang... Hindi ko maka, hindi, hindi ko ma, I, can, I cannot divine, I cannot fathom, hindi ko maabot kung paano ito diskartin. Time and again, peace process, nag-usap tayo, then, then here comes Al-Qaeda. Walang ginawa na kung pumatay ka ng tao, kiinusente man o hindi, Kimus mo Roman o Kristianos, pagpaputokin, kakaputok kayo lahat. That's why when I visited the blast, and thank you for sharing with me the gesture, lumuhod ako, 
Sinalikan ko yung uh, at least uh, simento to where my soldiers and the countless and, and the numbers at saka yung mga tausog na walang ka their, their lives snapped out kung ni Rizona to may dalawang taon pa ako, ayawang ko kung ano ang magawa ko talaga. But you know, when you go into a fighting, may galit na yan. Ma ma mahirap ito arigluhin kasi lahat may, may, may sugat na sa puso. And it would take a, a more than a generation to do this. I hope that uh, any one of my children would become a politician, baski barangay captain lang, that he'd be able also to do something about this problem of the Moro and the Christian. Kakawala o lang kasalanan, kaya ako lumuhod, hinalikan ko yung lupa. Kasi hindi lang man nakapag tawag yung Allah ay kumit may una pagka sign of the cross before dying. Well, of course, I saw that in the Tat Bible, it says Allah is all knowing and he, and everything. And he controls the lives of people and the workings of the universe. In the same manner, ganun rin ang Biblia ng Kristyanos says that for everything under the sun, there is a season. There, there is a season to plant and a time to harvest. There is a time to build and a time to destroy. There is a time for sadness, but there is a time for joy. There is a time that we do not talk to each other, but there will always be a time na mag-usap. Sa ayam mo't sa hindi, dadating yan. Because it is a lost will. If Allah says that it's about time, that we stop the carnage of killing each other, then he will find the reason for the Moro and the Christians and the others tribes professing the Christian faith. We will have the time. As there is a time for war, and there is a time for peace. Kailan yan? Well, I don't know. As there is a time to live. And there is a time to die. Ikaw yung address yo because ikaw yung nire-respeto ko. You have a color of, a color for life. Kung sa patay, dapat patay ka na. Sa dinaanan mo sa buhay. And yet you are still here around. Why don't you try to help me within the next uh, few months last year? Just to talk about peace. It need not really be a, 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 an arrangement. And just talk about peace. Maherap kasi because ang bumba, hindi kasi namimili Yan ang problema. At kung ang pinatay mo inosente, there will always be a time that you will have to answer for the killing of an innocent human being. Baski ano klaseng reliyon? Allah says about revenge, Allah says about the, you know, the giving, the taking of life. 
And Allah says that there is also a time to answer for all of these things. So I will end my speech with an appeal that if we cannot really agree, then we fight. And we fight hard hanggang magkaubusan na. Maybe by that time, kung ubos na ang lahat, wala ng gera. Sa pagka ngayon, hindi ko mapigil ang mga sundalo ko kasi may mission sila. And the mission is to crush the insurgents. And the insurgents, ang mission nila is for the greater glory of Allah. Wala man tayong problema. We honor Allah. We pray to Allah. Ako pa pikapikat because of my mixed uh, ascendancy. Same. I've always been answered with a lot of blessings from Allah. So ang hiningi ko lang sa inyo na even as you fight, think about peace. Because if I will say to you that this, this is 2020-2021, aalis na ako. Ang ibig mong sabihin, 2023-2024, 2025, hanggang 2050, ganun pa rin. Hindi na lang sa trilyon na ipagpa magpagpakamatay ka. It's about your generation. How about the flowering of the moro? Nakagaya ng ibang lugar, Dubai, when will the moro Filipino ever taste of this love? But only when the leader also be he a Muslim or a Christian, shall govern according to the will of Allah or God. Yeah. In the meantime, we fight. And sa pagkangin sabi ko, I cannot, I cannot offer anything because I have also my mandate. I have no, I, I do not only order, I impose duties. Gawin ninyo ito. But if in the God's time, maybe, kailan yun? We will have a time to talk and to ponder about peace at yung mga anak ninyo. Pero mo na palakihin mo, hindi mo nga padapuan ng lamok, but only to die walking there on the streets. Sabo. And you know, yung give and take na vengeance, if it is hatred, it cannot be stopped anymore. Hardly. So, it is a impossible dream. It is an unreachable star. But it behooves upon us, the mga leader, even to try. And even to talk as we wage war. Ako, I do not find anything rep reprehensible in talking to my enemy across the table and at the same time ordering my soldiers to fight. That's the only way for us to move forward at this time. But I hope, I hope that Allah will someday give the light to the minds of everybody. Maraming salamat po.